okay, so let me start. I am the last speaker today, th so this is first. And uh, I think among speakers I am the only mathematician, and Maxim is here, and he is the only mathematician in the audience. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, yeah, no, it is possible, yes, and uh, one more, one more, yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay, uh, anyway, so we are here because of Dima and uh, maybe just two words. I, I knew him and uh, not so good as you, but we communicated and the problem was that I was mathematician that time, I'm mathematician now, so it was a big communication problem. So now I know that I worked a lot uh, later about things like Hamiltonian quantum Hamiltonian reduction and things like that. And now I know that in some, on, in his own language, he knew such things uh, in that time. And many things which I worked later probably he, or definitely he knew like uh, other people like Sasha Zomolovich, for example, <laughs> and, uh, and so on. Uh, uh, anyway, so this is the problem by, of mathematics and physics in relationship, and probably they have to be different. Otherwise, it's, they will not be interesting to each other. So, so it's normal, like like couple or lovers. Michael Lachia <laughs> said that see, Michael Lachia declared once that see, uh, uh, in its best version, theoretical physics and mathematics are the same thing. This is the opposite. No, in some sense, opposite, opposite. <laughs> uh, I said like lovers, they have to be different. Otherwise, they are not interesting to each other. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what I will talk about? So uh, I will talk about the W algebras. Uh, I will uh, restrict myself only to uh, a JLN uh, case and uh, uh, usual and deformed. Uh, and I'll explain uh, something about usual and deformed, and uh, maybe uh, uh, the main part of my talk, I'll explain some general things about uh, what is the deformation of, of W algebra and why it is useful, and uh, useful in a different kind of question. One question is the old question in conformal field theory, and I you will try to formulate them. And also in new business like Samson and Nikita in uh, this A AGT and so on. But uh, let me first explain about something about W algebra in uh, uh, JLN case. Well, so the standard definition of W algebra, what is it? So we take maybe JLM and consider the JLM hat and uh, the, the level will be S. So this, uh, this algebra is uh, related with the corresponding with Zumina model and the uh, definition of W algebra that we can make a sort of a reduction, just uh, uh, killing some part of this JLM hat, and that uh, get the W uh, algebra. And this reduction is calling usually the quantum Drinfeld Sokolov reduction. And what is do it is doing? That uh, in JLM we have a maximal nilpotent subalgebra, and we have nilpotent uh, n hat. 
So uh, uh, this is central extension of current to GLM, and this is central extension of current to the maximal nil patent. And well, the Hamiltonian reduction we have, we take a character of this nil patent to C, and then make a reduction to this. It means that we kill the part of uh, GLM hat, which is corresponding to N hat, and, uh, and kill the dual variables in some sense. And what remaining is uh, some deformation to current to Cartan, and this is uh, the W algebra. And such kind of construction, and this is related to what Dima Knizhnik did, uh, when we go from Vezumina to Verasora or from Vezumina to Liouville, we make the procedure like this, just making the, the uh, reduction and, uh, uh, well, and uh, I want to say that result of this reduction, uh, so this is some mathematical construction how to do it, but maybe it is not reasonable to explain it right now. At least it gives us some algebra and uh, uh, just to ex ex explain what is this, uh, let me recall that if we have JL2 hat and make this reduction, then as a result it gives me a Heisenberg, it means one free field, and also Virasora. So the result is like this. If I uh, apply it to JL3, then uh, we, uh, it will be some algebra, actually the Malochik of W algebra. We, in this case, it contains free field, it means Heisenberg, then Virasora, then some additional generator. And uh, if uh, it is three, and if it's um, bigger, then we have bigger uh, set of generators. Uh, next point of a story. So first of all, let me fix some notation that uh, corresponding algebra uh, notation is uh, following. First, I have M here. And I also have uh, some dependence in S. S is a level. Uh, and uh, if uh, to use a standard notation, it is reasonable to put here the some combination like this. So this is more or less uh, the notations for W algebra. And uh, uh, I will say a little bit more precisely later, but uh, if M is big, what is this? It uh, uh, contains generators, maybe uh, 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 S0, Z, S1, Z, uh, S2, Z, and so on, and this is uh, corresponding to phi, it is uh, Heisenberg, this is corresponding to Virasora, this is additional generators and so on. Uh, and they satisfy some relation and uh, if you r uh, write this relation you see that this relation then depend in variable m algebraically. It means that uh, we can define some algebra in principle with the infinite set of generators which depend in this m algebraically and so we can take m as com complex number if we like and uh, we cannot construct this from JLM for complex m or, or we can but in this case we have to determine what is this. But uh, such kind of algebra exists. And uh, one more thing, that uh, because we get this algebra as a, relation, uh, as a reduction, we can uh, use the following things. We know that it is JLM uh, hat plus GLM prime hat 
This is embedding to JL M, M plus M prime. Uh, this is uh, usual way we can. And uh, if we carefully look what it gives us after reduction, uh, we get the map to the opposite order. Uh, uh, no, here we have some level and S. No, it is the same level, yes. And uh, then, uh, anyway, what I want to say uh, that I do not want to be specific about this uh, uh, second parameter, but uh, from this we can derive the co-multiplication, which is looking like this. Uh, and uh, no, I, I. So here it is something. Uh, uh, yes, it, it is co-multiplication. Co uh, uh, this is uh, it is some cheating, but not very much. The question is what we understand here by this sign. But uh, at least uh, it is uh, almost. Honest think that uh, if we have this W algebra and M are just parameters, which it depends, or we can uh, uh, cook up from this uh, the quantum group, or at least by algebra, because we have multiplication, we have co multiplication, and this is what we have here. and. Uh, uh, Co-multiplication uh, and uh, quantum group appear because of this, and uh, maybe later I try to explain that uh, this is natural. But uh, no people are using it uh, by the following way: no, uh, if it is a sort of quantum group, we can look what kind of object quantum group usually is the quantization of some Lie algebra. And so if you have quantum group like this, at least the object, you can try to get it from some Lie algebra and uh, now in, uh, in this case the procedure is following. We can take these parameters M and if m go to infinity, and we, if we make up uh, this process of the limit to infinity, to infinity by a proper way, and such kind of limit surely subtle things, but nevertheless we can do it, then uh, we can see the following, uh, which is uh, 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 that we can take the Lie algebra of differential operators. So uh, it will be C, uh, C, Z, D over D, Z. And we can uh, consider this. Uh, so this is algebra, and we can make from this Lie algebra with the operation AB minus BA. Yes. And uh, uh, then uh, in a limit, this uh, uh, it is I'm going to uh, it is going to universal enveloping of this, and uh, we can make it a little bit more precise. And uh, long ago Zakharevich did it uh, by the following way: uh, it is possible to consider not this, but uh, the pseudo differential operators where we have d and d inverse. Yes, and uh, then in this, uh, we can also consider this as the algebra. Uh, OK, uh, uh, so uh, uh, what Zakharevich did? Uh, he took uh, this algebra of pseudo differential operator, and on the algebra of 
observe the differential operator, we have trays, first of all. Trays that is uh, the coefficient in front of 1 here. This is trace because uh, if you have the bracket, the trace of a bracket will be 0. Then we can hook up uh, the invariant form by, uh, with this trace, uh, by taking trace A times B. And we can take the uh, Libre algebra from this. So we can make up the triangle decomposition of this. It is possible to do by many ways. Let me say this in a different example. Yes, but uh, now the idea is that making such procedure just by quantization, some Lie algebra, we can get this family of W algebra. And up to some technical uh, problems, this is correct, this one. And uh, The uh, a simpler way, and uh, it appear when we make deformation uh, to do the similar business, is the following. Uh, Pseudo differential operator is a complicated object, but maybe difference operator is a little bit simpler, at least from this point. How we proceed? We can take the algebra. Uh, of uh, non-commutative Laurent polynomials uh, in Z and D. Non-commutative, it means that we have some Q. I will have a lot of Q. Let us put Q tilde here, such that ZD equal to DZ times this Q. So this is what is calling quantum torus or difference operators because they are difference operators. They are acting in a space of Laurent polynomials where Z is acting by product to Z and D is acting by shift. Yes, and this is also Lie algebra. Uh, no, it is associative algebra, and we can make up uh, Lie algebra with the same, by the same way, a b minus b a. Yes, and then we have the same things here, uh, namely, trace is the coefficient which sent f, which is equal to the sum a i j, z i d j, to a zero zero. Uh, uh, and this is trace, and this trace of a b minus b a is definitely zero. It is easy. So we have a Killing-like form here, and we have decomposition. And so this uh, decomposition is the following. So uh, we can take as Cartan subalgebra c z z minus one, and uh, positive part. This is C Z uh, such kind which I is bigger than zero and negative part uh, we put a negative part of D and if we you are talking about decomposition we can take this one half of this as usual this is one part of uh, decomposition, and uh, 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 this is uh, 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 so it will be C Z times Z, for example, plus this, and uh, the same with Z minus 1 to this, and about 1 we can forget for now. And by this way, uh, this algebra, we uh, can up to, I did not explain what to do with 1. We can write this, this is a plus, plus a minus. We have mm, invariant form there. And uh, oh, sorry, sorry, I just got confused right on the positive part. Positive, positive powers of z and positive powers of d as well, yeah? So it will be one quarter. It's so important, right? Yeah. In z and z inverse, probably. 
Yes, yes. Ah, sure. Okay. But then you should multiply by z. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, no, no. I wanted to to product by d, so all all this, yes, and uh, uh, fine, so at least better. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we d we have Lie algebra with a quadratic form invariant and decomposition or almost decomposition to isotropic subalgebra. So by this way, we get Lie algebra or corresponding Poisson structure of Lie group, or at least uh, any Lie algebra uh, have formal group. So we have uh, such kind of structures there. And uh, uh, at least formally, uh, or we can apply some generic theorem, which in infinite dimensional case, uh, they have some problems, but uh, they work at least in this case. And after deformation, we get some algebra. <coughs> and uh, maybe uh, to be precise, one more comment, because uh, this algebra, because this is algebra of different separators, so it is acting here. So this is some version of algebra of gel infinity. Uh, this is, we can write it just rather special matrices in infinite dimensional space. And uh, gel infinity, we know it has central extension, which appear always in this business. And quantization is better to do as usual for this central extension. And I also s skipped such details. Yes, and what we get as a result? We get uh, some quantum group or quantum group like object, which is some version of this. And it depends as the object in two parameters. One parameter is Q which is here. And second parameter is a parameter of quantization. It is some other Q. Usually it, uh, we denote it by Q1 and Q2. This is, as a result, this is two, two parameters, uh, uh, quantum group d depending in two parameters. Uh, before I uh, continue, let me uh, uh, say just very, very, generic words about uh, no, uh, what kind of story we expect if we have such kind of quantum group. Uh, for to, uh, to explain this, uh, let me recall the standard situation. That Sorry. I do not understand one thing which you say. Uh, uh, w algebra is not Lie algebra in principle. And no, W algebra is not Lie algebra, but uh, well, well, and but you, but it is. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, no, no. W algebra is is not. I, I said that if some parameters go somewhere, then W algebra goes to universal of of Lie algebra. So it means that uh, as it it is it is. Uh, uh, deformation of some W algebra. And now I'm talking about uh, the deformed counterpart of this. So I took uh, Lie algebra and I, uh, uh, it has the, by, uh, by Lie algebra structure and I can use the standard Greenfield technique to deform it and it is possible and gives us something. And uh, sh I want to say that what we get is uh, coincide with the quantum deformation of W algebra. For example, it, it, uh, up to some changing of variables, we can derive from this quantum Verasora or quantum W3 and uh, anything what you like. Now I, I, I want to make some comment, maybe a little bit Philosophical, but it is uh, following that. No, 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 uh, 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 no, because uh, 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 mm, what we have, we have.
two, uh, uh, it, uh, this algebra depends in two parameters, Q1 and Q2. But uh, as I said, we work uh, actually with the form the central extension. Th uh, therefore, after deformation, we also have a central extension. And this central extension, as usual, can be understood as the parameter. So like cent c par central charge of Virasora also can be understood as some parameter in commutation relations. So this k, and so if k this k is acting by q1 power m, then uh, we get uh, w algebra corresponding to JLM. More precise uh, statement that if we have q1, q2, and if this k equal to this, then the corresponding object uh, can be factorized. Uh, because uh, this is universal enveloping of uh, such kind of algebra, and this is surely bigger than W algebra. Virasora have two fields, one, and here have many. But uh, if uh, Q1, some, if you have some resonance condition that uh, here it is like this, then uh, this algebra has some ideal and we can factorize and get uh, W algebra. And don't you have an additional extension by something like log D? We can, we can. Uh, if, if we need, we can do it, yes. And the question uh, is, what, what is the, the universal information? How many parameters? Uh, uh, but even for uh, Katsmudi, it is, uh, this second parameter is not so important. Yeah. No, no, and here, no, who knows, but, uh, <laughs> no, no, uh, but right now not. Uh, uh, let me say the following. For uh, conformal field theory, we have uh, uh, the following things. The, we have conformal field theory. And we know that uh, uh, conformal field theory, it is some correspondences. Uh, uh, we can... N n not always, but in many cases, uh, it is a c quantum group which knows a lot about what is happening here. It knows about the monodromy of correlation function and things like that. And uh, the standard problem, and uh, uh, Sasha Zamolochko, for example, explained as something that if in conformal field, uh, a conformal field theory is a richer object than quantum group. Uh, it it has many, many more things. But some feature of it, some things, can be calculated in terms of quantum groups. There's some three-point function, things, things like that. Uh, so uh, yes. So. Uh, it means that in quantum uh, group uh, side of a story, we can make up some calculation, and they coincide with some calculation in conformal field theory. Yes, and uh, the idea is that uh, uh, here is some uh, have to be some counterpart of this. On this side, we have uh, a quantum group, which is this. Uh, some quantum group may be de denoted by some way, q1, q2, and maybe additionally this uh, parameter k. And here, uh, probably this is the way to understand all such uh, calculation uh, which you made, that here we have four-dimensional, at, like at least like five-dimensional five or something like that, and you calculate some quantities here. And the theorem, so here it is a sort of theorem. Here it is a sort of expectation or, or hope or desire, I do not know. But we calculate something here, and some quantity here can be ex expressed in terms of this quantum group. And uh, well, quantum group is probably ambiguity. In the, in the quantum left-hand side, it's like a monodromy of the conformal block. Uh, usually, yes. Here in four, 
At least I do not know what is. Yeah, you have in, in, in Gish you have a choice of boundary conditions, so you can change boundary conditions, and that's a simpler problem than the the, the full translation. That's there is some kind of quantum loop which controls that. No, uh, so anyway, in this uh, four-dimensional field theory, something like this phenomena is working, and uh, and so the logic is the following: we have some calculation here. We can guess or so on, understand now what kind of story has to be here. It means that here we have, for example, representation. We take a rector here and so, so things like that. And uh, because of this uh, uh, AGT uh, relation, it is something like this. But uh, additional story that if these parameters q1, q2 go to 1, that it uh, goes to the honest conformal field theory. And uh, uh, this is the way how this machine working. So we have, uh, at least how I understand it, we have the correspondences of such sort, and then we can interpret this as something in conformal field uh, theory. Uh, so maybe it uh, this uh, AGT business uh, has more deep meaning, but I understand this only on such level. <laughs> yes. Uh, now, let me uh, continue. Uh, first of all, uh, maybe uh, uh, let me d just write here. So the quantization, what, uh, how it is going on in this Lie algebra C Z Z minus one D D minus one. So we used the triangle decomposition where Cartan is this. The generating of positive part is this, and uh, generators of negative part is this. After quantization, this part remaining commutative, or if we uh, have central extension, it become Heisenberg. Th from this part, we get some generator EZ. And from this part, we uh, get some generators Fz. And about uh, commutation relations, so here, before quantization, we have commutation relation Ez operator product is uh, something over Z minus Qw, and here some f field plus so on. This is what is happening in this Lie algebra. Yes, and uh, similar story is happening after deformation. But uh, first of all, uh, because uh, this is uh, Lie algebra, it means that uh, E, Z, and E, W, they commute for different Z and W, and they have pool in some place. And uh, I cannot uh, explain all details, but at least after deformation, the fact that Ez times Ew equal Ew times Ez up to some polar term, uh, it replaced by a statement that Ez times Ew times some permutation function is equal to Ew Ez. Uh, this is a standard story if we quantize the algebra of some s such simple structure. And uh, about this function lambda z over w, it is equal to z minus w q1, z minus w q2, z minus w q3. And here, let us. Uh, so, 
uh, this is the generators and uh, f is satisfy some similar condition and this is also some bracket ez and f w it is equal something from uh, heisenberg a product q1 q2 q3 is equal to 1 yes 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 in this case uh, q1 q2 q3 equal to 1 and uh, if not 1 it appear in more complicated cases but here it is like this and uh, 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 so uh, the, st uh, the stat statement about this is following so it looks rather s uh, as a rather simple or relatively simple algebra so it has Heisenberg it has uh, E and F and uh, Heisenberg with E and F have simple permutation relation like usually with vertex operators also uh, let me uh, not explain it and uh, uh, then uh, 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 what I want to say that uh, so the, uh, really the story is following so if you have such kind of algebra and if you want to get the elliptic W algebra how it appear in the standard places you have to go to parafermion like algebra from this so I want to say that here you have Heisenberg and you and you have E and uh, uh, Gore, th this is a uh, uh, this is obviously some solution to the young uh, uh, Baxter equation, right? Yes. Is it something we already know, or it's uh, it's uh, it's a new solution which we never saw before? Uh, the, the, this one, yeah. Because I, I I can't recognize it right away. Such kind of permutation function? No, no, no. This particular solution with this the three Qs and so forth. No, this I just do not know, but it's appear here very naturally. And uh, 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 anyway, I want to say that parafermion appears the following way. We have SL2 hat and we have Heisenberg Psi prime and we have a generator uh, uh, EZ from SL2 hat. After product EZ to a vertex operator of phi, you get something which commutes with Psi. And parafermion uh, are usually constructing by this way. If you make the similar procedure for uh, this algebra, it gives you an elliptic permutation relation and uh, quantum uh, deformed W algebra in uh, uh, precisely how it appears. And quantum Vera Sorova also can get by this way. And surely it is going. Uh, time is going very fast so uh, let me let me just explain one thing about it that about w algebra it is uh, many interesting things one of the what is the goal is goal is to write this one for w algebra no if uh, no if we uh, have such goal we achieve it so this is quantum w algebra but it is no it's also interesting but surely i wanted to explain more than that uh, about uh, about w algebra uh, it is a following f phenomena w algebra we can construct by reduction but it is not the only way uh, for jln uh, it is at least two more uh, one of them we can take jln hat and uh, consider here the JLN minus one hat and trying to make cassette to find here the algebra which commute with this and uh, it is known that uh, the uh, corris uh, uh, it is known that the corresponding algebra is uh, also, W algebra with some parameters. 
and uh, these parameters such cassette is W algebra where so we have K here it is level and K will come here and here it is some number which can be calculated in N and K it has to be here but I cannot find anyway it is something uh, yes, and so we can get uh, the W algebra by this way. And here we get just the same object, but K is uh, uh, now not necessarily integer, it is level here. And we get something. So by this way, uh, this is uh, a sort of rank duality things. And we can def define double algebra by this and then make analytic continuation by this n. And it gives me the same object. Yes. And, uh, and one more thing, that if we uh, uh, look to this cassette a little bit differently, we can find that the corresponding cassette is also W algebra, but a different kind. Because we can take the super Lie algebra GL n n minus 1 and then make up the Hamiltonian reduction of a similar kind for this. As a result, it gives us the precisely the same object uh, as uh, the result of this cassette. It has some explanation, but maybe not for now. Uh, uh, the f for me, the point is the following, that it is possible to prove, but proof is rather tedious and uh, uh, it is one thing. And uh, 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 the fact is that after quantum deformation, it becomes much more simple and clear. And, uh, and one more thing, that uh, If we know this, I can uh, consider the chain of W algebra. So let me recall that if I have uh, algebra GLN, when I construct the gilfan seitlin basis, what I do? I consider the sequence of subalgebras like this. I take representation, I restrict it to subalgebra, 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 and by doing this, I find some specific vectors there. E, e, and uh, this is working so good because the, uh, in this case, the subalgebra here, which commutes with this, is commutative. Therefore, we are doing this. If we apply the, this story to uh, uh, this it is uh, surely cannot be so simple because we uh, if you believe me that uh, here is JLN then I have JLN minus 1, JLN minus 2 and so on and uh, because this is uh, this pretend to be commutant of this I can take representation M representation of this and uh, restrict it to the product this times this and it gives me something times something. Uh, this is a uh, representation of W algebra, and this is a representation of GL and minus 1. Then I can continue this business, uh, make uh, uh, several steps till the end. And then it gives me uh, uh, some counterpart of gilfant zeitlin Decomposition M is the rather big sum, but rather similar. It's the same data uh, as appear in gilfant seitlin decomposition of a representation. And here we have a product of representation of W algebra. I thought the claim of Shatashvili and others was that the uh, fine analog of this gilfant seitlin basis for this free field representation for cosmology. 
Huh? No, so different people make different statements <laughs> about maybe the same <laughs> things. Uh, it's no, 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 no. It is, uh, in some sense, more complicated story. But uh, maybe I have only time. Uh, uh, the really interesting things that uh, uh, because for W algebra of uh, such kind, I have a description. So I have E, F, H generators. Therefore, I in principle, I know what is this. And uh, if I have JLN head, I know the generators here. And it is uh, the question how to find inside GLN head the generators from this, or how to uh, make the opposite business. So if we have this sum, to find GLN. And uh, my title was the extension of, w, uh, of conformal field series. And what I had in mind, uh, several things, actually. But this is one example of this. Here we have GLN head. And here I have a product of W algebras. This product of W algebra is a part of GLN head. And this is uh, the extension. And the problem is how to get uh, GLN starting from this W algebra and uh, more or less a standard procedure how it is doing. So uh, the standard procedure uh, is uh, we, ha we have a product of two conformal field series, for example, for C and for 26 minus C. And I can extend it by adding the sum combination of vertex operators. There are a lot of examples where such kind of machinery is working. And this is a rather special and rather complicated case of this. And because uh, my time is almost over, this I cannot explain. But I can explain the following. That uh, if you are talking about universal enveloping of GLN hat, we can take Verma representation of this. JLN uh, uh, hat. And then. Uh, Verma representation, which depending in uh, highest weight. Or uh, we can take, uh, uh, for simplicity, the vacuum representation. Vacuum representation is what? It has vacuum vector. Then I act by GLN times T minus 1, then so on. Yes, and uh, if you look to uh, and this is the problem of decomposition. I have this representation, and they can decompose. Uh, no, this is important from the point of view of representation theory, but uh, it may be also important from uh, uh, geometric business, because uh, in this representation, for example, we have we take a vector, which uh, uh, related to some instanton type problem, which we calculate the scalar product of this we take it is something. And uh, usually we have here basis, and we can find out the decomposition of this vector, of the, of, uh, and then such standard machinery can work here. Or we can uh, decompose this representation with respect to this W sub algebra. And then we can take this we take a vector or uh, uh, in the form of things, we also can do it. We can take some vector which we are interested in and decompose it here. For example, if we take, we take a vector here and decompose, then we get, we take a vectors in uh, each representation of W algebra, which appear here. And as a result, it gives us some identity where a uh, scalar product of it taker with itself, it has such kind of decomposition. And uh, in five minutes, I can explain mm, only the 
following things, which is uh, 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 some some combinatorics uh, here. Uh, uh, let me uh, to finish with some precise statement. So the statement is the following. I take vacuum representation, so it means with the highest weight 0, 0, 0 key. And for simplicity, I, can't, I want this key be generic. So this is vacuum representation for Jalen head. And here Cartan sub algebra is acting. And I can take zero weight space of the, uh, here. And in, in this case, this zero weight space decompose to a sum of vacuum representation of W algebra, which appear in, when I go to n, n minus 1, then W algebra appear, which n minus 1, n minus 2, and so on. Yes, and then uh, uh, this representation, vacuum representation of W algebra, they have a basis labeled by uh, plane partitions. Uh, actually, the statement is the following. Uh, the vacuum representation of W algebra, which appear here on a place some S, S minus 1, by the basis is labeled by the following things. We have to consider plane partitions here, but not all, but with some condition. Condition depending in S. We can take some point here in the bottom uh, in a position S, S minus 1, I think, or, or S, I think S, S minus 1. And we are looking for plane partition which are living in this zone here and not here. Yes, and uh, so uh, the, uh, uh, as a result, we have the following. So Fine. In this case, finite. This is because I can uh, restrict myself only, only this sector. So this uh, here we have finite pl plane partitions, which are living here, but with restriction that uh, they are concentrated in such part of uh, uh, in such part of a room where uh, they are lying. Yes, and so uh, the basis here is labeled by the following data. I have to take one plane partition with such, such restriction here, then one plane partition with such restriction here, and so on. And uh, then it is it, uh, and uh, it gives, in principle, some combinatorial identity, which uh, how much it is complicated, I do not know, because the proof which I know it representation theoretic. So I have such kind of basis, and I have the action of some operator there, and I can identify it with the operator. Uh, yes, and uh, if we consider here the uh, 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 situation when key is, uh, is not arbitrary, but for example, some rational number. Uh, full answer is not known, but uh, in some cases it, it is known and it gives us surely some restrictions, some additional restrictions to plane partitions which appear here. Uh, mm, so, well, two minutes. Uh, no, uh, so, so it looks nice, but what just I wanted to say that in our recent paper with Miva, Jimba, and so on, it, there are some explicit formulas. Uh, actually, uh, there are some which are also looks nice, <laughs> but not for now. There are formulas. Uh, <laughs> there are formulas for what? That we have JLM hat 
but the trillium hat is the representation of toroidal algebra also. And this statement using uh, to construct some different bases here and the formulas. But if you have toroidal algebra, that inside this toroidal algebra, you can, by a simple way and explicitly, find this W algebra, which I promise you. Just write down the generators. And to find out the product of commuting subalgebras, and uh, no, I only want to say that the formula are nice and, uh, nice and they are solving, from this point of view, a representation theoretic prob question which I could not solve how, for myself. How to embed? We know. And we have some rather complicated proof that uh, the cassette JLN over JLN minus 1 hat is uh, W algebra. It is some indirect proof. But just in conformal business, uh, to make up this embedding precise is very complicated. Maybe computer can do it, but no, no, I stop, stop, stop. no, just. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we have to invite a computer. Question, Do you have some uh, uh, pointers? Uh, uh, hmm? uh, yes, in the presentations of W algebra with triangles Q1, Q2, Q2, Q3, and uh, Q1, Q3, labeled uh, by the well, top, which I construct now to play the position. No, Yes. 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 Yes.